What is going on guys? So today I got a quick video talking about the difference between sharing your screen in Discord and streaming a game in Discord. So I just want to nail it right off the bat. The main difference is that streaming a game allows you to share audio as well. Or just sharing your screen only just shares the screen. It shares the image like the video. It doesn't share any audio. So that's the main difference. And another main difference is that you can only stream a game in a channel, in a voice channel. You can't stream a game in a one-on-one -on -one call with your friend, but you can share your screen in both. So that's, those are the main differences. And now I'm just gonna go through some of the settings really quick. Um, so you'll see that if I click share your screen here, you'll see I have choices between apps or just individual screens, but for some reason it's not detecting that um, Star Wars Battlefront 2, which I have playing right now is an app. Um, sometimes it might, um, but I'm not sure why it's not doing that right now. Um, but yeah, I could just click share my screen here. And then um, I have the option for resolution and frame rate. This is the same for both sharing your screen and streaming your game. Only difference again is that streaming the game will share your audio. So you could just click go live here and I'll be sharing my screen. And then I could like minimize and then open this game. And I could uh, share it like this. You'll see I'm live in the top corner. But instead, the better way when you're playing a game is to just stream it. Join a channel, make a make a channel for you and your friend. And then if he wants to watch you play, just stream it. Don't share your screen because it's not going to share the audio. So stop streaming and I will show you how to. So make sure you have the game running. Um, Discord will pick up that you're playing a game, even if it's like... Um, like a single player game if it's not online like i have dark souls it picks up that i'm playing dark souls and it also uses something special like let, uh, let me show you for example so i'm going to close this i'm going to launch dark souls really quick yes it's fine okay alt tab go back into discord here and now when i want to stream dark souls remastered here you'll see that i have the same settings here with resolution and frame rate but when i click go live you'll see that it, it um, can't find the sound permissions right away, but Discord can still grant the access here. And then it has a hook helper, which you don't you don't see in my recording there, but it has something that'll help it pick up the sound from even older games or like single player games or, you know, games that aren't um, from Steam or from like a conventional, um, you know, game library source. So. I rambled a lot there, but that's the differences, guys. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.